guests, it's Ricky, and today we are starting a new series. I didn't even tell my guests what we are talking about. Uh, everybody say hello to one of our favorite families in South Africa on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here at the at the T Worlds uh, Studio, Saint Studios, and so we're gonna have a wonderful conversation. I wanted to, to interview people that got married young. Oh. And so... <laughs> this is getting interesting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so this is going to be one of the first ones. Say hello to... You guys, you, I don't know your surname. You don't know it's... It's not public. Ah, uh, no, it's no. not important. It's, it's, uh, not. it's not important. <laughs> but it's not with a T. The Bay, the yeah. Bay family. Let's say the Bay family. Yeah, I'll call it that. Yeah, fair enough. And yeah. so you guys had to be the first ones because first question I would ask, when you guys got married, were you Christian or were you non-Christians? Easy, I think. Uh, go for it. We were. We were Christians. <laughs> and that is why we got married so fast. Yeah. Because oh brother Bay uh, didn't want to sin. And at church, they also didn't want us to do fat and set. So they gave us an ultimatum to say, because um, we were staying together, we were doing fat and set. So they say, if you are doing fat and set, we either cut you off, because we were under some leadership at church. I was mm. under, I was one of the leaderships on, under ushering, and he was under the leadership of pastors. Mm. So they say, you can't do fat and set when you are there. So we either cut you off, or you stay separately. Mm, mm. And then that's where in we decided that we are going to You're get married. Going at it. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I once saw a small little clip video thingy that you once posted. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What was that video shot on? The one that you uh, was shot over your, your vows when you guys were doing vows. It looked like it was shot by a phone. <laughs> was it that bad? Are, are you talking about uh, the one at church? Yeah, the one where you're doing your vows. Yeah. And you were wearing a wedding dress. Yes. Yeah. It was a wedding, Ricky. It was, it, it was an actual video cam. <laughs> yes, it, it was just not this. It was, day. Yeah, exactly. It was back in the days, Ricky. Wow. But then again, <laughs> I always say that with that wedding, ne? Mm. yeah, hey, yeah. We had to take a loan for that wedding. So when you say it was, it's not you take it by a phone. We took a, <laughs> we took a loan that it took us more than five years to pay for it. And it was horrible. Mm, the, the wedding was horrible. It was horrible. Honestly. That was the foundation of our marriage. And yeah. Yeah, yeah it, but you started on a good foot. I feel like uh, if you start on, on such terms or, of difficulty, you, it, you've created a, an area of bonding beyond finances. Some people, when finances come in later on, it actually cripples them. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, and finances is one thing that we've never struggled with. Yeah. I guess it is because we... Yeah, we struggled we, in the beginning. We struggled mm. a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think also, as you're, as you're indicating, I think for us it was a thing of... Uh, like making mistakes first mm. uh, in terms of uh, uh, learning what that looks like in the future, right? So mm. when you get to the future, already you've got lessons that you have learned throughout mm. the process. But obviously when we go to death, even whenever, even now, mm. we go to death together, there's not, you are in debt, it's your debt. I am free, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's both of us, whether it's your debt or my debt, yeah. we go to it uh, together. So yeah, that doesn't feel like you're dragging someone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Mm. And, but all our foundations, like from the beginning, it has always been just wrong. Yeah, no, definitely. It has just been wrong. Like when we met, he, I always say that he, I was a side chick, he had the main. Mm. And then when we got married, we got married behind everybody's back. Our parents didn't know, our pastors didn't know. And when we finally had our wedding thinking that we we're doing the right thing, we had to walk together, go to Cape Tech, take a loan. Do you see, like everything was just so wrong. Like literally. Was it because you were rushing or was it because you, <laughs> you, you just look, had to make the decision? If you look back, yeah. everything was rushed, right? Everything was just rushed. Everything was rushed. And I think maybe partly a uh, lack of maturity because you, 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 you tend to disregard certain things that are important, especially when you're still young. Mm. Like when you're young, you are naive. And mm. I'm not saying that to everyone, but... I've seen it uh, with most of the people. Mm. Even though you won't come out and say that I was naive. You want to sound smart. Exactly. Yeah. You want to sound smart. Exactly. <laughs> like I so, was discerning the spirit. Exactly. Exactly that. And even if you go to a young person now that is at this age and you're like, why do you want to get married? They're like, oh, I can see. I'll, I'll make this thing work. You know, yeah. I am a, I'm, I'm good enough. I've got the qualities to be a husband and all those things. Mm. But at that time, you don't realize what you're doing, yet you think you realize. I remember when I went to my parents and told them I want to get married. Mm. They're like, no, you're not at that age. You, you know, young. you are still young. You mm. cannot decide certain things. But who are they telling? 
Mm. Somebody that thinks themselves, or I am oh, mature what? enough. At that time, man, I was not even getting paid. Like, what? I was still an intern. Yeah. Like, I was literally getting 4,000. 4,000 rand. Mm. And I'm thinking, this is what I'm going to use for, for to fend my family. You know, yeah. me and my wife are going to depend on this 4,000 rand. And you can, you can see, Uri, this is complete lack of maturity that is applying but there. But I like that decision because... I've seen, I have a cousin, She's, they've been together for 20 years right now. Mm. And that was the, the direction. The, the, the husband by then was working at a warehouse. He was only like 2.5. They moved. And they moved into a small little thingy in, in Tembisa. You know, you barely had enough space to move <laughs> your feet uh, as you were moving to the fridge. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And so let's not even talk about you moving a new furniture or anything like mm. that. But they, they moved from there and then they went and they got a house and before you know they had a bond and now I bet they're about to finish paying off the, the bond. Mm. So they've been together for over 20 years, those, mm. those two. Yeah. And so those type of decisions sometimes, they do hold back uh, some people. Uh, I like that you, you made the decision. You didn't let things, uh, other people's decision, other people's so-called experience. Nowadays, I think like there's too many podcasts, too many people talking about this. Uh, please do come your podcast in the <laughs> studio. <laughs> there's too many people, there's too many voices. Listen to people's experiences, but to remember that your experience is not equal to the other person's. Definitely, mm. definitely. definitely. Now, that takes me to the next thing. Uh, you said that you never told anybody. Mm. Uh, did you hear a voice? <laughs> <laughs> did you hear a voice? Did anybody have to go to someone and say, the Lord saith... <laughs> No no. No, 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 nothing like that. I think it was a personal choice, completely a personal choice mm. that we decided on. Uh, as, as I've said, young, naive, thinking this is the solution. Mm. You know, you have got a problem. And when you think of a problem, which is uh, sexual intimacy, mm. you know, you've got that problem that arises, and maybe not particularly sexual intimacy alone, but mm. you've got the pressure from the church as well. They are busy talking on the side, you know. Mm. and they Make something of this. Exactly. <laughs> like, or oh, separate, you know, because you're staying together, you are cohibiting in a way. So mm. you're like, the first decision that comes in, that serves all those things mm. is what is marriage. So you 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 think immediately mm. marriage without considering what other options can we then implement. The excitement. Yeah. We, we were in love, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was like all these things, Ricky. They are happening within eight months of meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Everything happened within eight <laughs> months. <laughs> nah, you guys are. You are an inspiration. Eight months. <laughs> eight but, months. Everything was done in eight months. Mm. You know. The, the thing, another thing that, uh, the reason what, what made me want to make this series about interviewing people that got married young, don't forget to send us a message. You know, SN Studios, we want to, in, to, to hear your unique story. Um, I met a couple when we did uh, Lelo's uh, book launch. Yeah. And uh, they had been also married for like 20 years. You mm. know? And I'm like, these are the people we should be listening to, not people who were married two weeks <laughs> And you couldn't stay together. Hey, he was doing what? He was what? And you're like, this one is just being selfish. It's no experience. Here. You know, he crashed. You got married on yeah. the crash. You know? And some people have never really grilled each other to see that aspect of, I might get bored with you. Mm. So I remember one lady on tic from TikTok. Uh, the video was... Let me give you a real talk. Marriage is boring. Very, very boring. Because it is a routine at some point, it is standardized. Anything that requires discipline, school is boring, university is boring, but what does it produce? A lifetime professional, something you can never take away. Discipline is boring, but the strato, the street, it's nice. The street is exciting, but the street comes back with zero. The street's got nothing. So stop looking at that marriage of yours and start complaining and thinking what if and wanting to exchange and adding other people into it by cheating. Don't do that. But is it worth losing the discipline I have, the foundation I have, the family I have, the plans I have, the plans and things we've already achieved? One night at a fancy place that I probably can take myself to is not worth it. Sometimes we need to analyze. And exciting is the street. Mm -hmm. Marriage gets very boring. You get used to each other. You now know before they open the, their mouth, they want to say, do you want to go eat breakfast? 
at seven o'clock he's gonna send me a message saying good morning you know mm-hmm. and so people get bored with that mm. and they want to escape that to create some excitement mm. so i want to ask you guys if someone was at a point of looking at your relationship eight months in and stuff like that did you ever in the eight months experience a point where you were like that's why i say this one is a bit touchy I wouldn't ask this if you guys were not open the way you are about your yeah. relationship online. <laughs> so don't worry, I won't ask you that. <laughs> did you did you feel like I'm going to get bored? In that eight months? Yes. No. Because at that eight months, we were very much in love. Yeah. Um, I think at that point, you feel like this is it. Like every day I'm going to wake up in honeymoon. At that time, you're not seeing any challenges. You're mm. not thinking that one day I'm gonna hate, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna actually hate the way that he breathes. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up and be like, what was I thinking? Yeah. At that time you're like, this is my forever year. This is like my die. You know, mm. babe, did you think you were gonna get bored? No, I, I don't think I, was, I said I ever thought I was going to get bored. Um, even from the beginning of the relationship, I think obviously when you get through the the relationship, there will be some stages where you feel like, ah, but what, what, we always doing the same thing. You know, yeah, yeah. like there's no. Uh, something different because mm. that's how you get used to your partner. Mm. Then you like ah, we're always doing the same old, same old. You know, mm. it's no longer exciting. Let's look at something else. Maybe you convince each other and say no. Let's let's start something afresh. I mean, let's start something new, something we have never experienced. Maybe let's start uh, uh, listening open to music. That's open relationship. So this nonsense <laughs> of open relationship. If you are interested in what not, you see that you see. Those conversations, I think people also underestimate um, their humanity and how their humanity interferes with... You're going to feel opposite Mm. tomorrow. Like, for instance, Mm. when you want to have an argument, just remember that there are things you might say right now that you'll be like, Mm. I said that yesterday. Mm. I can't take that back. Of course. Mm -hmm. definitely. And so the same thing with... with, uh, with, huma- with with our humanity in the sense that it is fallen. Mm. That's why I started on the question, were you guys born again or were you not? Because as a born again, I feel like you should have a little bit more information to say, in my fallen nature, I'm going to think, sit there and look at this person and say, that's how this person chooses. You're going to become petty mm. and mm-hmm. stuff like that, you know? And so when did you get there? Because there is a point where one must cross that bridge. Yeah, I, I think it, 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 it I, I can't really give you the timeline, right? Mm-hmm. But you get there, obviously. You mm-hmm. get, even though it might not be to that extent, or not, not to that extent, but that exactly, mm-hmm. it might be other various things that happens and you're like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. but hey, this is too much for me, you know? Mm-hmm. Especially when you get married young. Uh, or let me say, for me, getting married young, mm-hmm. you, you then look at it and be like, but what was I thinking? You know, mm-hmm. was I ready for this commitment? Like, is this the kind of person that I wanted to settle with? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I remember when I was still young, my father used to say that uh, you will meet various women out there, mm-hmm. you know? You will meet women of different types. And on the other side, you're seeing other people, let's say, for instance, in her case, and this is me being frank and honest, mm-hmm. you see other people that maybe you went to school with, people that now are confessing when I had a crush on you. Or, you know, people that you're working with, they're showing interest as well. And it's people that are doing well in life, you know. Mm -hmm. And let's say it's her, for instance, who is not uh, particularly advancing in terms of maybe career-wise or whatever the case is. Then you look at it and and be like, yo, maybe I should have waited. That's what I was asking you about. You see, see, I was waiting for you to mention that. (laughs) And once for instance, that was the real... That was our reality, for the, whole, reality. For, the real, for the whole 10 years. Yeah. So I was unemployed. 10 mm. years. Yeah. Mm. You hadn't found your feet. That's no, and I didn't even want to find my feet. I think for the mm. first eight years, I was very comfortable in being a housewife. I was very comfortable with him carrying the load alone. I was watching Nigerian movies. He would leave me in a black gown, find me in a black gown. I was just fine with just being mm. like yeah, that. Yeah, I was yeah. not ambitious at all. I didn't want to be anything. For <laughs> me, I felt like I had arrived. Yeah. And I, I was even having a cheese cup. I didn't even want to make... A, like, I had arrived. I, I remember I when you came to us, you had dreads and... <laughs> <laughs> yes, like, I, I, I had made it, Ricky. Like, I, I was okay. I didn't even want to do anything better in life. That was better for me. That was better. Yeah. And, and I loved that, right? Yeah. Uh, in terms in of beginning. appreciated... Let, let me say, I appreciated that at home. Yeah. But there are certain things that happen in your life when you go through day-to-day situations. Let's say, for instance, as she said, I was carrying the load alone, right? Mm-hmm. In terms of working. And it gets to a point where in there's nothing on the table 
and it's dependent on me, you know? Exactly. And then you look at other people that are maybe advancing. You look at the doctors, other people that you went to school with are now in higher positions. They're driving yeah. fancy cars. And you look at it and be like, ah, maybe this person would be helping me offload, you know? Yeah, yeah. Even though, yes, this is the person that you love. That has not stopped. But there are other opportunities just that are starting. That drops exactly. In. So all these things are starting to unfold, you know? Mm -hmm. Because obviously you rushed into the decision. Things just comes from even all the different sides. Even the simple thing like a conversation. Mm. Yeah. When he comes back from work and he wants to talk about logistic stuff, I don't even know what is you the know nothing about you know, I know about patients or soccer from Nigerian movie. I want to <laughs> talk about that. He wants to talk about bigger stuff, you know? Ah, like, we, we're just not chilling. What, what spark it? The me trying to now come out. Yeah, like what, what, if you can spot. He was struggling. Okay. A lot. Mm. It's really with finances because, like we said, our first debt was obviously the wedding. Mm. After that, after the wedding, no, the first debt was my mom passing away. Oh, yeah. So that's... he had to assist with that, getting a loan. After that, he had to now adopt my brother. He now, when we came, we had to move with him to Pretoria now, he's becoming a dad. At that age, yes, sir. He had to take a loan now to take him to school. And how That's... far, how far between your mom's passing and you guys getting married? Um, it was I think a year, less than a, a year, year, yeah, or a something. year or so later. Mm. Okay, and yeah. so the brother now and then becomes his son. Mm -hmm. So now, when you become this, you realize that even the government school you have to pay. There's no free ones. And mm -hmm. it was through the un unofficial uh, wedding because she passed on before we had. The they actual all... wedding, the one that you spoke about, the cell phone one. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. before that. Yeah, it was before that. And then we and had... all these things But she happening. saw you married. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> not <laughs> really. Not really so, but, but she had... She had that the daughter was married. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> yeah. So now he became a dad. So that is another loan. So we kept mm. taking a loan to cover for the other one. So, so now when we say we want a loan to take my brother to school, we would say... We want the one that can actually cover the other one that we had taken. So, in, so if we're taking 200K a few months back, we're going to take 300K thinking that what? We're going to cover the other one. So we kept on. Mm, mm, mm. What was the question again? Yeah, no, you are still on. You are still on. You're still what on. Spark did what spark? Do? What spark? Oh, it, what yes. spark that? So now we start getting the demand letters. Now my husband comes back from work. I give him those letters. Hey, they are demanding and all those things. Like, Shane, you will take the letters. He would pray. Who say fire, fire in the name of Jesus to burn the dead and everything. Yeah. And then one day I just realized that if only, maybe if I can just get up and work, mm -hmm. I could meet him halfway. Yeah. That's where now I started looking for jobs. But and little did you know that it will spark this fire in you. That yes. So the first thing, the first, I think the first job that I got was to be a cleaner at Pep store. Mm. And then he would come fetch me and I would be cleaning at Pep. It was, it was horrible. Mm. Because now I'm thinking that, yo, if only I had maybe went to school when my peers were also going to school, I would have been fine, bitch, you know. I started getting jobs. I started now thinking that maybe I could start a deco company. Mm -hmm. Then I started studying business. I, realized, I actually realized that I'm actually a hustler. I didn't want to work the nine to five. Okay. So I started studying businesses and failing, starting a business failing mm -hmm. until I actually it just got my breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And the sky was the limit. But in that, the reason why I'm ask, why I asked you for that is because the process people just don't realize that there's a process it's we try to prevent this these decisions like you see someone will hear you say that and they'll try to prevent that decision to say no 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 let me make sure that my husband is okay and me i'm okay and then you know they want to make a decision from the information without considering where they are no and all that kind of stuff sometimes I feel like our 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 people nowadays like we're just making decisions on the basis of other people's experience, mm. you know. Yeah. But the process is what matured you. Definitely. You know? And for me, I was not even on social media anymore because mm. social media was actually depressing me. Because mm. remember, on social media, yeah, now, you I'm seeing, seeing everybody. Yeah, mm. I'm seeing. I, I was congratulating same people here, every day. Congratulations, here. everybody, every day. I mean, I'm not getting the only the only congratulations I was getting was you are a liker. I'm a liker. <laughs> like I'm, I'm just that person. Yeah. So for me, I didn't even have any influence out there. For me, I just wanted to make it for myself. I just wanted to help my husband. Mm. And like enough for me, he was very supportive. Mm. Whenever I would say, okay, I want to try to be a, to, to bake, Go he ahead. would then buy me ingredients, then mm. I'll try. I want to try, do one, two, three. I want to try, I want to be uh, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. He actually, funny enough, when I, when he started with the YouTube, he, um, he had just resigned at one of the companies. Mm. So he took 99% of the money that he got and paid all those debts. And then that remainder, he bought me the cameras and stuff like that so that I can do the YouTube stuff and mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's where in everything just started becoming Sparking better. Sparking up. Yeah. Yeah, so... <clears throat> 
as you can hear, your decision is your decision. Don't make decisions on yeah. on the basis of what other people mm. think. Because other people's experience is not your experience. Yeah, of course. Um, another thing that I wanted to... So we've talked about the point of... <laughs> the point of I might get bored. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's, uh, that's yeah, no. Uh, uh, getting bored for us was... I, I didn't really take too long. Yeah, I think course. also the, the challenges were just too much. Yeah. Immediately after we got married, the challenges you're were You're solving here, you're solving here, you're solving here, you're solving here. Especially with the finances. Isn't it? The only thing when it comes from work is, hey, wow, well, are you going to pay this? How are you going to pay this? It was just, mm. it was just too much. Uh, and so 10 years in, struggles for 10 years. So from the start of your marriage, you start with the struggle. Mm. And then only later on. Yeah. Now that highlights something also for for someone that might want almost give up their their ten years. Yeah, mm. the whole decade was you a struggle for us. You haven't gone through your version of the of, of ten years. No. You know, <clears throat> uh, for some people, ten years is two two months. I mean, like watching the period when when you get your breakthrough. Yeah. Uh, the two of you mm. as a unit at this point, he's getting job of us is growing in his career and stuff but then as a unit you still feel like hey maybe i'm dragging mm. let me try and help but mm. there was 10 years where you need it took 10 years for you to build or for something to build in you to say what can i do yeah you he know? had to carry me for that the whole 10 years yeah and yeah. so someone wants to give up their person because this person has no spark mm. They don't realize it might take 10 years for mm. that person or longer to get the spark. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You know, and the reason why I'm pointing out those, those things is that we, we are very, our generation is very terrible at suffering.